Hi there, I am Sirtolo from Loot Masters and this is the Raid Shadow Legends. Still playing in the Guild Void 77 and our main objective today, main topic today is none other than this SOB Ninja. So, this is my seventh day and I received a ninja which is an attacker legendary and also some more other stuff that are not worthy this one is worthy so claim So, let's see what we got with this ninja guy. As for first, I have to level him up, which we are going to do with these brews. To level 50. Shut it up, up, up. I hope I will have enough brews for all the way to level 50. It's not so fast here anymore. Okay, I hope I will have forty eight. <coughs> Excuse me, forty nine. And just a little bit more, 50. Beautiful. So we have an ninja level 50, which means that I can take out all my these food items from the champion's vault and feed them to him. So upgrade the rank. I have a chicken and all the other little ones and upgrade Badum this and we have our rank 6 ninja <sighs> let's see what we can do with ascending him as you can see I gathered some not so much potions I hope for at level, at least uh, level four ascending. Right. And I still need three of these. Wunderbar, I'm at level 5, and what's the last, two more blues that we can mitigate, 
beautiful yellow and four whites that we can also mitigate and we have a fully awakened six star ninja the skills will i not not do today because i have only one book and that book is going to Drexter Bloodwin. Yeah, Drexter Bloodwin. Big one is a bit far away, but now comes the interesting part where we have do all we can in the tavern for her ninja. Now we buy masteries for him. As you may see, he is an attacker. So we are going to do the attack and probably the defense lines. Shutterbolt decreases defense. 60% also for the champions turn 15 by used against bosses. Yo. Hailburn attacks three times at random, uh, placing HP burn debuff for three turns. Also places perfect will buff on this champion when used against bosses will instantly activate HP burn debuffs, including HP burn debuff placed by this skill. So HP burn, okay. Sian slash attack all enemies. 17 of the freeze debuff for one turn. When targeting a boss, will only attack the boss, not all enemies, and will ignore 50% of the target's defense. Will also decrease the cooldown of the hail burn skill by one turn. Yo, and escalation increases ninja's attack by 10% up to 100 and the critical damage by 5 up to 25. Each time a single enemy is hit by all three of ninja's active skills in a single round. This effect can occur multiple times against the same enemy. When fighting bosses will increase ninja's attack by 20 up to 100, critical damage by 10 up to... Ooh. Yo, so okay uh, as for masteries we will go with offense and defense we will start with buying all the scrolls beautiful yao so critical rate five percent Critical damage 10%. Increase damage on the targets with less than 40 HP. The heal. Increase speed by 6 for each enemy killed by this champion. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Nope. Methodical increase the damage inflicted by this champion's default skill by 2% each time it's used during battle. Stacks across each round in the battle up to 10%. Or kill streak increase damage inflicted by 6 stars like in the arena and in other locations. For each enemy killed by this champion in battle, stacks across each round in battle up to 12. Blood shield. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Helm smasher. Ignoring 25 for skills that ignore death, this is addition to the amount ignored by this skill. Okay, Helm Smasher. Mm -hmm. 
So I need a resistance. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Increase the amount of healing and while receives by 5%. That's always an awesome thing. Under shield buff. Or 50 HP or less. Will he be full? Yep, he'll be full. So then let's see what we have here in this region. Blood thirst heal the champion 10% of them when they kill an enemy target. Cooldown one turn. Mm -hmm. Resurgent remove one random debuff from this champion when they lose. Uh -huh. Shadow heal heals the champion at their max HP each time an enemy is healed. Occurs one per turn. Uh -huh. So be it. Let's see any further. Delay that reduces the damage this champion receives from a specific enemy by. Uh, okay. Harvest despair. Since placing leech debuff for one turn when placing stun sleep, fear, true fear, or freeze. Uh, he puts freeze and HP burn, which is not here, so this is kind of situational. Nope. Stubbornness increase resist by 10 for each debuff on this champion, stacks up to 30, which is not too much. Mm -hmm, I'm in trouble. Let's see what we have here selfless defender, decrease the damage of. An ally receives from the first enemy hit in each round. This champion will receive that damage instead. Nope, he is not a tank. Cycle of revenge, increasing turn meter, effect critical hit will only uh, increase the turn meter once. Uh, mm -hmm. Retribution, justice demands retribution. Counter attack on champion loses. More a single enemy skill now that seems good. Deterrence counter attack an enemy when applying stun sleep fear, true fear, or freeze debuff on an ally. So, in order to get this one, I will have to take this one and this one, and now. I can choose some more attack skills. Speed by 6 for each enemy killed by this champion. Mm -hmm. Free speed is 3 speed. Increase damage inflicted to targets with stun sleep, fear, true fear or freeze debuff by 12% which I cast, freeze, not bad, turns on decreasing the cooldown of a random skill by one turn if the damage inflicted by a skill exceeds 30% of the target's max HP, occurs once per turn. Uh -huh. Blood shield, stalked, kill streak. Or Wrath of the Slain, increase damage if each deadly, each dead ally, stack up to 10. Uh, nope. Increase cooldown. This for farmers. Let's take this. 
shield on this champion for one turn when this champion kills an enemy. The value of shield is equal to 15 of this champion's max HP occurs once per turn. Increase damage inflicted by 4 for each debuff on this champion stacks up to 12. Mm -hmm. The counter attack. When they apply a stun, the clan boss do stuns. Fair often enough. Sleep, fear, true fear, freeze. Oh God, I have no idea. You know what? Let's do this. Blood you. So, as per C, we are done with the masteries. Now let's talk for a minute of the artifacts and mind one thing with the artifacts stats over sets which means that I will now look for for crit rate gauntlets with speed substats and we'll look also by the equipped stuffs and if I found something that is equipped by any secondary or the tertiary unit I will take that down equip Oh, good. Now I will look for a shoes with speed and crit rate. And we'll see what we have. So what is that? Speed attack crit rate. That seems awesome. Speed HP, speed crit rate, already rolled ones. Let's try this on equip. And now, if you remembered, there is a skill where it states that he will ignore 50% of the target's death. Now, let's work a little bit more on this and let's try to put a savage gear on him which I brutally don't have and let's take them off from another characters so I have savage gear on Atel which must stay and I have savage gear on this dude fuck if I know his name which is secondary tertiary level unit and let's see what we have here so this is a resistance chest piece 
with crit rate and accuracy. Let's equip that. Farak in the fat, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Shield I have. Defense, HP, defense, resistance, crit rate. Defense, crit rate. Drop the legendary. Headpiece, five star blue. Resistance, two time defense and attack. Ah, uh, the best. What is that? Crit damage, accuracy, HP attack. Okay, what can we do? And let's see some weapons. Crit damage, crit rate, attack. And equip. Continue. Then let's see what we got from jewelries. Five star epic, HP, HP, defense, defense, HP. Uh, crap crap it crap crap HP attack <sighs> in any case I need attack ring but I will use this blue because the attack percentage and all his skills are based on attack, attack, attack so I don't really have any any other possibilities so equip Let's see the amulet, crit damage with accuracy, defense, HP, HP attack, defense, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, defense, resistance, accuracy, I still need accuracy for the statuses, so crit damage amulet and for banner I need Bruce banner accuracy attack accuracy with defense nope attack with speed defense with HP guard so we are going with attack and speed equip okay now let's hope for some acceptable rolls. We are going till 12 now because I'm a bit of short of money. But that will that will go higher and higher all the time. I got HP, I got crit rate. Let's see what we are rolling for 12. <sighs> this is always painful, but a resistance. So we have 10% crit rate, which means that our crit rate is 82 83 not bad let's hope here for a double roll on crit rate or at least a single roll on the crit rate Of course not. Okay. Oh, 
Why should it work? Hm. Accuracy. Okay, not bad. The accuracy itself. So, HP attack, speed, yellow. We are raising everything to 12. That's our main baseline for today. Piece of shit defense. God. How I hate that. Come on. Thank you. Give me that third substat. HP 6%. Okay. Could be worse. Resistance, accuracy, both are awesome. I don't need defense. So far, so good. I don't need a defense flat stat. He is an attacker. So the least useful substat or stat in general is defense for him resistance very good hp and attack roll Nice. There goes the attack. Double roll and attack. Mm, nice. Now I hope for, for crit rate or, or speed at level 12. But we will see. With my luck, I will get flat defense. Or granted, <laughs> not flat percentage, but still the least useful stuff that I can get. And uh, because our crit rate is still not enough, it's merely 83. I need to increase. I need to increase this to level 16 which will grant me another 17 another 17 percent which will launch me to 100 percent crit rate now this will take some time and probably will take the majority of my money but what can we do the spice must flow and the critical rate must be 100 percent there is no question about that 13 let's go let's go let's go Fourteen. Come on, two more. You can do it. Ah, goodbye, two million silvers. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I will start singing. Okay. Probably not. Yeah, thanks God. And I got some little more resistance to it. So let's see what can we enchant here. We can give a little bit of speed. A little bit of HP. And a shot of resistance. Vive la resistance. Okay. Here. Look at that. Look at that. 100%. My speed is not so much. HP. Defense grab. Resistance. Oh, pardon. Here. Yes, that's that's also something that I need to 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 level up as soon as I get some money. Attack percentage. And accuracy. Ish, minimal roll. Okay. HP. Attack. Defense. Oh, come on. Defense. Resistance. And a bit of accuracy. For those HP burns and whatever. Speed increase defense and a little bit of HP. Okay, I still have one million, but I have to increase his level with whatever brews I have left so I need him minimum at level 40 hopefully I will read that But probably no. In any cases, it's 35, it's 36, eventual 37. What trash do I have? These are for for updates okay so he is fully ascended he is six star he is geared mastered and pulled up to level 37 now let's drop a look at him what have we achieved 31,000 power with savage gear only savage gear this is crit rate gear and this is perception probably yes perception gear this can i still modify left and right but for now he is 
on par with with uh, Dracomorph, Bigun, and the company over thirty thousand. Seer. So they are over thirty thousand. My Drexter Blood Twin is only eighteen because all of all his sets are are are, are based around HP and, and defense and not so much around supporting skills uh, stats like crit rate and, and resist and accuracy and he is still only on level 37 and with level 12 gears so what are we going to do now right now i will finish this video and in a few days as i progress with him i will do another one uh, full swipe guide on, on on him and present you with his full power okay guys and girls and uh, everybody who watching who watches this we are over half an hour which youtube don't like really but still i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of ninja i was Siltalo from loot masters these were still the raid shadow legends and i see you guys in the near future. Au revoir.